Welcome to another episode of Master Carp, and in this episode, we are going to address this rig. It's called the Combi Multi Rig. It is a rig that has landed me many, many fish, really superb hook holds, and it is a rig that is actually intended for a critically balanced bait, such as a wafter or a balanced tiger nut or balanced maize, whatever the case. Let's construct one. This rig will be constructed using 20 pound dark matter, 15 pound IQ2, size 4 crank choddy, and I'll be using the medium shrink tube in the clay. I start off by stripping 20 centimeters of dark matter, and I'll be taking about 30 centimeters of the IQ2 by taking the two ends of the dark matter braid and I create a loop on the one end and the two open ends on the other side. Then I take my fluorocarbon and I fold a piece, push the two loose tag ends through and then measure at least three and a half centimeters from that end to where the, the loop starts. So let's just see, I'm on four centimeters. That gives me three and a half. So now I just take this braid and I wind it around one, two, three, and four times. Now remember, I'm taking double braid, so I don't need to go eight times up and four times back. So now it's literally just going back on itself once and twice, like that. And then I take the two loose ends and I push it through that opening again, so that they are all entering from the same side. Now it's just a matter of easing the knot down and then taking my puller tool and I start pulling tight on the knot. <coughs> there we have an all bright knot. Now all we do is we cut off the tag ends on that side and on the fluorocarbon on this side. And there we've got the Albright knot with the loop on the one end. Now take my size 4 crank choddy from the packet and you'll notice that the crank choddy has got a outturned eye. Really important for this type of rig. Now it's a matter of just taking the braid and pushing it through the eye of the hook like that and then take my rig ring swivel and push that over and then just hook it over the over the hook itself like that and there i've created a slip d like so now for the string tubing now i take my string tubing and i measure two centimeters and I cut that off. Always take the residual and put it back in the packet. Now I just slide it over the rig itself, over my knot and then I just push it over the hook that it sits like that. Right, now finishing the rig off at the back, I'm again going to make use of a perfection loop. So the perfection loop ends up or starts off like that. I fold it around 
so I create a loop on this side. So let me just get my fingers around that, like that. Then I take this loose end and I pass it over that loop. So now I'm sitting with one loop, a middle loop and an end loop. And I'm just going to fold the end loop over and then take my stick needle and hook it like that while I'm still having it trapped. And then take my choddy tool, push it over and then I pull tight on the knot. Now what is important about this knot the perfection loop, if that l knot has been tied properly, your tag end will exit at a 90 degree angle. Really important. Now it's a matter of cutting off the tag end. And I'm going to cut it off about 3 mils from the end of the knot. And then I'm going to take my lighter and just burn it and then dab it. Now I've got a perfect, perfect, perfect lot called the perfection loop. The next stage obviously is to take a piece of dark matter putty and just work it through your fingers a little bit and then I apply it to that or bright knot. So I just push the braid into the, the uh, putty and then I just mold it around. And there we have it. Now we can go and shrink this. Right, now that's how the reed looks after it's been shrunk. And there's a very good reason for that critical bend. Because look what it does on my hand. The minute the fish sucks it in, it attacks the bottom lip. And this piece of braid, the multi rig part of it, will slide all the way down and get the bait out of the way. And once you've caught the fish, you just reset the rig to its original position like that put a new bait on and you're ready for another one now let's quickly put the bait on this is the type of rig that you can use a variety of bait combinations from a standard wafter to a snowman presentation and then also you can use stacks of maize with a bit of flotation or you can use a tiger nut with a piece of foam or a piece of cork or you can use double tiger nuts it's really really a nice rig to use um, with a variety of baits but for this presentation I'm going to select my favorite which is the essential IB and it's a 12 millimeter wafter and putting the bait on is really simple take a piece of floss and put the floss through the eye of the little swivel And then fold the, bait, the, the floss back like that. Slide the bait on. Halfway down onto the little barrel. Cut it off and burn it with a lighter. Give it a dab. And there you have a critically balanced bait that would sit like that on the lake bed. And the minute the fish sucks it up, that's going to go into his mouth. Dunk. Now for the tank test. And there you have a combi multi-rig with a 12mm wafter as a bait. Give it a try.